Hey guys, Justin here from First Updates Now, checking in at the Peachtree Anderson District event. I'm here with Ramrods Team 6366. I got Carter, Evelina, and Mason, and they're going to talk a little bit about their robot, Frankenstein. Check us out on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, so I'm going to hand it off to Carter to get us started today. All right, as he said, I'm Carter, and I'm going to be talking about the intake that we have and our shooter. Our shooter was taken from Flockus. We stole the idea of the arm from BSR. We stole the idea from the, for the intake from Apollo. All these are Robot in Three Days builds. And we use the PB&J method, in my opinion. They permanently borrow and jerry. That's good. That's good. Permanently borrowed, not stolen, of course. I'd also like to do a quick mention of our amazing 3D printed wheels that we did replace, sadly, on our swerves. This we drove off of our robot, actually. That is how much we drove it, which we're very thankful for being able to drive before competition actually starts, have some practice. So all our teams who struggle with this, we believe in you. All right, so something that's really cool in our robot is this is our first year with Swerve, and we really looked around at what other teams are struggling with. And what we found is that teams struggled with just getting stuff into their modules and it kills their modules. So we 3D printed some covers that are sealed on the top and bottom with plates. And that allows us to run a really thick grease. You probably can't see it because it's probably worn out. And just really keep the modules clean and keeps gunk out of them. We also are climbing with something very reminiscent of what um, the grasshoppers did in 22 with the pivot. What happens when we pull these down is we actually end up about 90 degrees to the ground um, it's kind of cool to watch because we slowly just tip 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 and it's like we're about to flip over but we just stop so these are really cool um, it's really just winch spring super simple we got to play with the Krakens this year so we're shooting and driving with them really cool pieces they're really powerful really fun they sound amazing too for a first motor and then we have the most important thing on the robot is a piece of wood on the robot. That is the most important part of the robot. That's fantastic. We have to knock on wood or something will break. It's a guarantee. So you said PB and J, is that just another way of saying steal from the best, invent the rest? Yeah. I love it. All right. So once again, this was Ramrod 6366, one of the most iconic themed robots in the state of South Carolina. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.